and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is part two of a vlog that I did when I spent a whole day in my planner space just planning and getting things done that I wanted to do in my planner. So if you haven't watched the first video yet, I'll leave the link above here and it might make sense for you to do that first. Um, but if you've watched the first and you're here for the second, welcome back. Thank you so much for um, coming back. And in this video, you'll see me setting up my life planner for August. So hopefully that's interesting to you. Okay, so I need then to date the inserts. This is already printed. I did it last month. Um, so we have the front. I use this um, washi tape from Fluffy Angel Stationery. I love the rainbow washi. And then we turn ourselves up into August, the August month. I, I started setting this up and then thought, I'll oh, hang on because there's going to be a... Um, there's going to be... What am I trying to say here? there's going to be a video um so wait on that so that's what i did now in terms of dating this um we have one two three four five so august actually spreads over six weeks annoyingly this time so this is a five week planner insert so one two three four and five and then the 31st is the last day. I think, I think because this is the first page, I'm trying to think where I'm gonna go with it. Should I start on the third? Because we're now in this week and I haven't, I don't need a whole page to do the first and the second because I accidentally missed those out. Um, did I include them? in my July, I took those out already, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start this planner just because it's a six weeker and it's a bit awkward on the third. And then we have the four weeks and then the extra day we can tag on and ha it'll have a little week for itself, bless it. So let's get cracking with dating that. Um, I'll put you on a time-lapse and come back to you. So the dates are in and now what I want to do is put down here along this sidebar anything that's happening in this month that I need to remember from um, future logs that have come up in the past. So if we go back to that section what we can do is get my little, it's a washi, uh, washi card but I really like it so I use it as a little ruler and we can check off the last week of July and that actually and then we're on the next week of August which is good to note okay August so we've got grands now my grand was having a party but they're in Greater Manchester so well I say party she was having a gathering but they're in Greater Manchester so I don't think that's going to be happening anymore but I'm going to just make a note of that day in case anything is happening because we can't go to her house but we can go to like a pub or a restaurant so we may still be gathering um just in a different place um my friend's daughter's party she's not in greater manchester so that could still go ahead my grand's birthday that's already happened so we could have to worry about that um and those two are still happening as well so i've folded this out so i can flick back and forth and i will put this here so birthdays we have got and i'm just going to fold that over so i can in fact, have I got a sticker I can use? I bet I have. I mean, what a silly question. Of course I've got a sticker I can use for birthdays. Um, it's just about finding it. Where would it be? So, let's have a look. I might actually use this, like, don't forget sticker type thing. Um, yeah, I think I'll use that. And then I'll add extra deco, like little birthday cakes and things like that in a little while so yeah let's do that so we have coming up I'm gonna put important this is cute natty planning natty planning I think I've received this as like um in like a swag bag from a, an event so it's that exclamation mark there can you see I'm doing yes I'm just checking okay so to remember for this month 
um, birth. Uh, no, I remember doctor's appointments first, so 13th. Um, doctor's appointment. And then we also have, I'm going to leave a space for some birthday cakes. Um, my gran is 80. Um, on the 12th. I mean, I don't really need to write that down. I was never going to forget. Um, and my friend Lukash, I think is 30 actually, on the 24th. So, happy birthday to those two. Um, and then, I also have to write in Layla's party and my grand's gathering. So... Layla's party is the eighth, and Grand's gathering on the fifteenth. You have to excuse my handwriting; it really isn't what I want it to be. But um, can't be. Like not writing in your planner, so I guess that's why it has to be. Okay, so we've got the exclamation marks on there, and then waiting for the birthday um, icons, which I will find because I really want them. <laughs> I mean, I know where there'll be some. There'll be some in my massive paper share folder. So bear with me, or let me find them. What are all that? What's all this? Why is there so much in my room in random places? At the moment. Anyway, right, okay, here we go. So, I want birthday. I actually have now got things big enough for it to put in there. Cakes, cakes, cakes. They will be under food and drinks if I have got cakes. That's where they will be. I've got so many gaps in this because I keep taking them out and not putting them back like a very disorganised human. Shouting at myself now. Right. Okay. Food and drink. So, cakes, cakes, cakes. Got a bit of cake there. Ah, these cupcakes. Perfect. How big are they though? They're quite big actually. No, maybe that's not the perfect one. If you expected this to be a short video, I do apologise. Okay. <laughs> do you know? I don't know why I'm surprised by things like that being in there. Okay, no, there's Easter, there's autumn and Christmas, but there's no birthday. So I know what I need to order next time I'm doing a paper shirt order. So, bear with me, I'm gonna keep looking. Whilst I'm doing this, let me know in the comments where your favorite like birthday icon stickers are from because I would love to stock up on some more. Clearly, I haven't got any to hand that I think would be useful. So, let's just have a quick, oh, here we go. This is too big, but it can be for all three. So I'm just gonna put this like that, and then put this little dash, arrow to here and this dash arrow to here and I'm going to highlight that. This is my favourite highlighter, it's from Wilkinson's, uh, Wilco's, it's not Wilkinson's anymore is it? Um, and I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so that was a really long winded way of doing that wasn't it? It's actually brightened up in here now, so I might um, turn the light off so bear with me. Okay, so I just, it's not perfect lighting, but it's, I like it to be more natural if possible. So then my to-do list um, is to buy gifts. Gosh, my handwriting is so awful because it's so wonky on here. I can at least take that really chunky thing out. So buy gifts. That is the first thing I need to do. So that means that on my shopping list from here is Grand's present. 
and Layla's present. Now, Lukash, we won't get a present for like a that you can buy. We get tend to do experiences, days out and meals out and things like that. So that's fine. Okay, doctor's appointment. Hang on, we'll go down in order. So on the eighth, this is Layla's party. And all being well, we can go to Layla's party. Um, so just taking the things from the future log and making sure that they go in before I do anything more sort of routine. Um, and then on this week, we have Grand's birthday. I like to leave a little space before I write things in so I can put a little icon um, there. So Grand's birthday. And then Grand's gathering here on the Saturday. Okay, and then what else have we got happening this week? August, oh, the 13th, doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment, and I will put an at and I will write a time, but I can't remember off the top of my head what time that is right now. So that's next week. This is this week. So I'm currently admittedly on Wednesday so I should have filled all of this in before but I can do it now so Monday was Grayson back at nursery and that was eight until five he's there again on Friday excuse me slanting I am a lefty why have I put grey gran <laughs> eh. Luckily, this isn't my pretty planner, this is my functional planner. Grayson um, at nursery, eight until five. Okay, um, then on Monday, there's something else happening on Monday. Um, yes, Theo's haircut, that's my little one-year-old. Tuesday, we... Um, Went to Grayson's bike, which was really nice. Um, he's so excited. We're going to take him out on that later today. Today, um, planning day. I'm really lucky to be able to have this. I'm a teacher, you see, and on. Um, I am a teacher, and on the summer holidays, I still pay my mother-in-law to look after the children because it's not fair if I'm getting paid she's not getting paid so she has them one day a week still um and I get to do what I want on those days and today I'm doing planning all day so planning day um boys at Angers um, house and um we're going out after for a ride on the bike but again little things like that we don't have to um put in. Tomorrow we have got a play date with Rebecca and April. So that's going in. These are things that happen nearly every week. Um, and then Sunday we are starting up again Sunday lunch because um, or Sunday dinner. We used to alternate between my mother-in-law's and our house um, each week and then when lockdown happened we stopped and now we're starting that back up again so that's happening there so I'm really really excited about this um starting again because Sunday dinners are one of my favorite things okay so then we have and this tracker I don't know if you can still see that down there let's have a look had to turn that off there there was a low battery sign so you couldn't uh, yeah you can <laughs> so vitamins um took them on monday took them on tuesday still haven't taken them today i got them out of the packet brought them upstairs they're still sat there on the shelf so that's not happening yet this uh, week this today and then i don't tend to track much else in here um having this many trackers for weeklies is a lot so if there's anything you track let me know I've got options to track, you know, five more things, so that's really handy. And I don't think I've spent anything, no, that's a lie, I have spent some bits this week, so I'll pop those on in a minute. Um, I'll have to go to my PayPal to do that so far. 
I can't remember off the top of my head, but I haven't spent much. Um, weekly goals. Um, most of the time throughout this pandemic, my weekly goals have been to stay healthy. And this is a goal for my entire family, of course. Um, be kind. And I used to have be patient, <laughs> um, but I'm getting better at that now. I don't have to stay in the house with the boys all day long. Um, so I'm going to put declutter. And again, I apologise about my handwriting, but this is my um, planner where I just write things in. It's not functional. Uh, sorry, it's not decorative. It's mainly functional. So that is why that happens like that. Um, we might even be going on a trip out on Saturday after Layla's party if the boys aren't too tired. So that's going in there. Um, okay, have I got anything else to do from my planner routine page? Let's have a look. Um, print and date inserts, key dates and birthdays and fill those in. There wasn't any unfinished tasks from the previous month's goal for the month. Um, the, well, they'll change every week, so that's fine. Um, plan YouTube videos for the month. That's what's something that I do need to do. Check in with PR teams and key dates. So we'll do that again. Habits. Mm. I do need to get better at these because this actually does come with a really cool... Where is it? Yep. Monthly tracker that you could go ahead and do. I, haven't, I don't know what to put on here. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, these inserts, by the way, are from... Um, oh principles for planners and they're really good I do love them um put brain dump scribbles into ideas to create I ha have actually been doing that um and download digital dash so I'm going to put in here the things that I wanted to achieve today so um let's go from the beginning so I've started my vlog for today I've done like a planning day vlog which I really really enjoy doing um I've also set up for August, which is exactly what I'm doing now, is what I wanted to do. I needed to print um, Digital Dash, so I've put that in there. Um, I wanted to tidy the office. Still not done, but will be done by the end of today. Um, I wanted to fix my silhouette. Poor thing doesn't know what it wants to do half of the time. Um, and then, what other things have I done today? Uh, design, album cover. Okay, that's enough for now, because obviously that's just today, and then we've got the rest of the week to-do list to go there. Um, oh, and we need to book an online shop. As well. So, there we go. So that's this week, and that's how I sort of set up for my monthly. I don't feel like I've missed anything out. Um, YouTube videos, obviously, I need to do, and the PR stuff I need to do. So I'll just show you quickly what that looks like. Um, oh, my happy mail. I need to get on this a little bit better. So I left a big space, and then I put July. I'm going to cover that July up because... I didn't actually wait. Um, I didn't fill all that in and backlog it and stuff. I had a week or two where I was a bit of a fail with planning because um, I was working on my other project. So um, I'm going to just pop it from here. I'll cover that up with a sticker. What's today's date? It's the 5th. So 5th. Um, oh, let's just put August. Again, it doesn't have to look pretty. Um, the folder pockets have arrived, so that's that. And then designing lifter uh, PR pack. I can't remember how much that cost me. Um, and it has arrived. So I try and take a note of everything that has arrived for me. Oh, I know what's also arrived the other day. Um, photo album. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it arrived so I can keep track of that. And then, yeah, I'll stick something over there. So, I need to print... I don't know how much of this I can show you. <laughs> um, 
but anyway August is here for my PR stuff so I will set this up now and um, show you how I do that for anyone who is um, interested in how I keep my PR going and um, for anyone who um, is a PR person and wants to have come up with a system of how to keep on track so I'll do that now PR for the month is on the list I need to fill in this PR code insert I swapped it over and got a new one because um, there was loads of new PR terms starting so I wanted to make sure I had up-to-date codes so I'm going to do that today as well um, then I have um, all of and my details for the shops that I PR for. So um, my PR term length, the discounts, what you get if you use my code and then what I'm required to do um, as well. So I've got those for each of the ones that I PR for. So they are all there. And then I come to my PR posts. This was July. So then we come to August. Okay, so I I'm in obviously week one, but I'm just going to cover up a couple of things because um, I don't know what I would use these things at the bottom here for. So I'm going to cover them up with these um, little scalloped um, doily type things from Paper Share. Um, obviously, you know the IPR for them. Well, hopefully you know that but I will leave all the codes and stuff if you want to make a purchase from any of these places um, in the description box so I'm gonna pop those there so that's just covered those bits up that I won't use and then also I'm gonna use some of these scalloped headers because these aren't gonna be for appointments I'm going to cover it up instead of appointments oh it's a bit wonky never mind um let's see actually they are peelable which is nice i'm just gonna pop that back because it's a couple of shades darker so i think this one will be more suitable mm, it's a slightly better fit um because i'm gonna put my codes here just so i can glance at them to be honest, I don't tend to forget them, but I can pop them there. Then I did that last month and it was helpful, so you can see there. So I'm going to do that here as well. And I also have these stickers that I put in, um, as well as this that goes in monthly. This is just like a really cute little paper show postcard, which I love. And then I put this here and stick that my back page because I use these stickers to mark down when I'm doing things and also where are we I'll just leave those for now oh no I need the scallops header for here don't I so I'll use this one why not it's falling off now anyway pop that up here because I'm going to put it this way so it's not getting in the way there we go Okay, so I grab my pen, get started with that. I'm sorry if this has been really boring. I really do apologise. Um, what did I write on that last one for that? Nothing. So, um, yeah, so I used my coded system there. So let's do that again. So take these stickers off and I'm going to go with it like so. I'm going to use my tweezers because this gets fiddly. Mm. I've just been watching Gilmore Girls. I'm obsessed. So the dark purple is going to be my paper shirt and then underneath with this darker sort of mauve colour I'm going to have this as the plump planner and then this middle pink lily blossom designs and then this lighter purple fluffy angel stationery 
and then this grey pink as designing lifter. So, pop those back. In fact, I can cut that off now because that will only bug me. Here. Back there for me to use as I wish. So, we have here paper share. Um, Plump Planner, Fluffy Angel, uh, Lily Blossom Designs, and Designing Leafster. So I'm going to just tilt it because you know I'm a lefty and I'm sorry if it's that's annoying. Um, paper show. Don't really need to write on them when I've done this key, do I? Paper show. Plump Planner. The angel stationery. I find it so hard to write when I get to the bottom. I'm just going to put fluffy angel because literally, apart from this video, no one ever sees it. Um, Lily Blossom Designs. <laughs> really struggling writing down at the bottom. And then designing Leafster. Yeah, okay. So then, shall I put the code? Yeah, okay. So for paper shirt, it is Holly 10, and that is 10% plus the sampler. For the plumber planner, it is Holly B15, and that is just 15%, which is a great discount. Fluffy Angel Stationery is Holly 15, and that's 15%. Um, and a sampler. Lovely Blossom Designs is hot. Wait, have I done Fluffy Angel Stationery right or is that 10? I'm going to go back and check that in a minute. Um, that has now gone to 15, so that's 15% and a sampler. And this for Designing Leafter is also. Hmm. I said I didn't often forget, but now I feel like I have. So let me go back to these, which is why I do it. Um, yeah, so for the angel stationery is that. Oh darling stationery had a bit of a funny and yeah 10 for designing leafter. Which is 10% discount and my sampler. I have some spaces left for others um, if they arise. So that's the month. Each week we have things going on that are different. So for week one, the paper show, so I'm going to stick that here, um, which is this week, opens um, and also new releases. The plump planner has also opened and so is fluffy angel. The angel stationery hasn't opened yet. So plump planner and here come on. <laughs> open and new releases as well. Okay, so that's like the main things. But then we go to this section which is like daily I don't have to log this but I like to log it just in case I feel like I'm slipping and I can go right okay I you know I've tracked what I need to do I've done enough or I haven't done enough and I notice it so Monday um designing leafter um so I can put oh on Monday I did the icons, a uh, picture of the icons on the grid of my Instagram, but I also did the love fall on grid and stories. Okay, and then I also had the plump planner. Um, I did the celebrate kit. on this 
stories. Okay, Tuesday, I put, um, so from Fluffy Angel Stationery, Hang on. Nope, that's today. Yesterday it was paper share that I published on. Um and I did about their Bujo release. And on Facebook and stories and grid. So that got a bashing. Um and then today so I'm just going to write on these because they're not always the clearest. So that was Designing Leafster, that was Plump Planner, that was Paper Show. And then today, um, Fluffy Angel, Bambolina, Hollow Sticker. And I'm going to work on the stories as well. Okay, so that's basically how I keep track. What I also do sometimes is I turn over this. So, for example, if I have a really busy day, I go on the back and I also add on anything extra. Because sometimes, you know, if I've used, if I've promoted three shops on the same day, I want to be able to go and talk about that. But I use a space on the back if there's an overflow. So that's how that bit works. Um, and then. Obviously key dates go here, and then on this side, I tend to write down PR packs. And, there. and then when I have ordered them and received them. So paper shows for August. I've ordered, waiting to receive. Fluffy Angel Stationery. I have ordered um, a surprise this time. I'm waiting to hear back. The Plump Planner. Ordered. Some designs I haven't ordered yet. Um, tends to be a bit later in the month. And designing Leafster is actually weekly, which is really exciting. And I have received one of those, so I'll do four ticks or five, depending on the amount of weeks in the year. And then anything unimportant, I'll just keep as that. If there's something blaring I need to not forget, then I put it on there. But that is how I record my PR. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. These are my codes. These are the shops you can get it from. That's got its own website. Plump Planner's on Etsy. Fluffy Angel Stationery is on Etsy and has its own website. Lily Blossom Designs and Designing Leafs that are both on Etsy as well. So that is that. And very, very quickly I will show you, because I said that um, it was on... Oh, that's come off. <laughs> It was on my monthly, which was um, plan YouTube videos for the month. So I have my Simply Gilded unboxing, which has, is already filmed, voiceovers done, it's edited. Um, so I now just need to add on the rest and put it onto um, YouTube. Vlog planning day is in progress. My August setup is this video. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead now and plan the rest for the month. So that is how. I set up for the month and I hope that's useful I'm sorry if it's not um, I have my cleaning checklist as well but these actually change over weekly um, so I'm going to fill those in I'll do loads of videos though with different sections otherwise this would literally take all day to show um, and go through but I just thought I would pop in um, like the quick setup of what I do to swap over for the month and this video is probably about an hour long at this point so apologies if it is and well done for getting to the end if you did um but it doesn't have to take an hour if you give yourself half an hour you can speed through this it's a lot quicker if you're not filming yourself um but i do recommend setting something up where you've got everything you could possibly need in one place um because it's just so handy to have i know that if there's something going on it's in here and if it's not in here um, I'm surprised. <laughs> so this is um, yeah my everything and I hope that you get to find yourself a system that works for you as well as this works for me and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, so yeah 
till the next video have a happy and healthy week and i will see you soon bye